Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad you're with us on this Friday morning, wrapping up a really good week we've had on the show, and we appreciate your viewership. Let's get started with our weather, brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Group Pollard. Hard-working crew taking care of everyday comfort and needs. High today, 75, low 52. We're still having these cool mornings. Water temperature in the pier, to be exact, 69.3. So it's hanging around 70 off and on. So it's going to be, uh, I think it'll be moving up some next week a little bit, a degree or two. Let's take a look at our river readings brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola. Good folks down there. And look at these, look at these river readings. We had it, we anticipated this yesterday. But take a look at Apalachicola at Bluntstown. Right now, it's at 13.2 and going almost straight up. Choctaw at Careville at 11.2 and then going up. And, and uh, it's going to, both rivers are on the rise. And on the rise real fast. So it's going to be swift water in both river systems. And we see that it's going to be pushing back up into the swamp system. And, and those feeder creeks, they're going to sort of slow down. It's really uh, fascinating watching the uh, river systems and all the feeder creeks and tributaries just to watch how everything ebb and flow with it. Anyway, that's what we were storing that one day. Our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Good, strong tides. Looking at a high tide right in the middle of the day, 12-12, a low tide tonight, about 12-19, right after midnight. I uh, got about a, got this weekend's moon. We're talking about the moon on Monday show, but we'll have a got a full moon, a half moon about Monday night, I think. So take a look at the uh, let's take a look at our fishing game time. This, this segment here brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe, 2:56 to 4:56 this morning, this afternoon 3:26. To 526. Wind is still coming in, be west northwest at 13, and man, has it blowing a lot. And man, if we had a bunch of rain, uh, it's just uh, everything wet, so be careful out there. Let's take a break, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Let's start off with a really good story, a feel good story. We've been talking about uh, the, the fish fry uh, last week, they had a <clears throat> Jackson. Little Jackson Barefoot uh, had an accident and the family uh, really ran up a lot of medical expenses. He's doing well now, but his friends and, and uh, folks out of Southport decided to put on a fish fry as a fundraiser. We talked about it last week. When I went by there Saturday, I had to go by and get some fish and it was from 12 to 6, but I just want to talk about a fundraiser. What a remarkable event this was. It's a good good feeling to, to see all the folks and all and they had raffle tickets and half pot and all. You know how they do fundraisers. And, it was a Southport fish fry, so that, that's a little more special to me because that's, that's my community. Been there a long time, and one of theirs, uh, Drew Pollard had it in his building, uh, and they had a fish fry there. I want to thank Marcus, Marcus Black, uh, he, and, and Missy Williams Gore. They all those people and all the others, the whole team of people put it on. Folks, they raised over twenty thousand dollars with that fish fry. Is that not incredible? Uh, for a fish fry, that, that is something else. And then. Then uh, to show you what kind of guy uh, Drew Pollard is. Drew, uh, he won the pot where he went half and half goes to the people that you went half. He gave his half back to them, which is like eleven hundred dollars. So it was like twenty one thousand dollars that they had. So I, I just I snapped a couple of pictures real quick just so feel good. Here they are at Marcus and they they're serving it and uh, it's that Drew Pollard inside the building there, Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. We're talking about our sponsors just being great people and uh, good people and. Uh, here we go. Some of y'all know Wayne Purdue. I said I had finished eating. I sat down and, and ate with Wayne Purdue. Y'all tell him you saw him on TV. Uh, he's a, he's a good outdoorsman, good guy. I really enjoyed being with him. And anyway, just some quick pictures here. Some of the guys are win. They're telling some fit. What they're doing? I know they're telling fishing lies. Here, here's another group telling stories about how big a fish they they caught. And I'm laughing at them. They good folks here. I I just really enjoy being around them and and the different ones. Uh, there, there's a Wally on the right there, all the folks behind him. And see, see the ladies here are filling out these uh, raffle tickets. And a lot of a lot of stuff people donated to give away. So raffle tickets and fish fry, just a win-win. And there he is right there on the left. He's doing well, recovering well. And uh, one more picture there, right there. So I, I just wanted to share that share that story. Here, here's the guys up there to cooking. Uh, there's Drew and uh, guys up there cooking in a trailer. 
So you know, it was just a good, a good feel-good story. And and we're talking about doing good things and all. And I just want to share that with you because I know some of y'all bought some, uh, bought some plates and all. And the fish is always good. I have a couple more pictures. I don't know if I can get to all of them now. Uh, real quick, I want to show. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's show. I want to congratulate real quick. Here, here's the Choctahatchee High School. Okay. The Choctaw Archer team is the Florida State High School Archery Champions. Now, is that not good? They had the top three high school boards in the state. Uh, here they are right here. Now, why don't all schools have an archer team? I mean, we're looking at what, that's 15 or 20 kids involved in a great outdoor sport. Those are the top three right there. You can do archery on the inside and in different places like that. Uh, all kind of good things. So that's two good things right there. Okay, so we're going to take an early break. Uh, what we're going to get ready, we're going to come back and, and show you the 27th annual uh, Bear Point Ladies Spanish Macro Tournament. And we just had a grand time. I uh, enjoyed doing it. And uh, so we're going to take a break, come back, show the video, then come back, give away some seafood, and do our famous Friday fishing report. We'll be right back. annual Bear Point Ladies Spanish Macro Tournament. And we are on the west end or the beach end of Hathaway Bridge. Big tall condo right there, about 16 stories. And this little marina is called JDF Marina. It's a private marina, but they host it. They rent all this stuff out. And uh, I'm a little early. This is where we're going to do it. We're looking toward North Bay, up that area. That's the power line that goes across right there. And there's some good red fishing right there, folks. Right there. There's a good channel coming out of here, too. Don't tell nobody. Here comes the first boatload coming in. <laughs> They're excited. They're all waving, so friendly. That's Mandy, first one to recognize. That's Mandy. So they left a boat out there. I see. I see Megan back there. Here comes another group. We'll get all the pretty girls and we'll have to get some ugly boys in the picture, you know. <laughs> I'll sit in between. <laughs> okay. 2.66. He's got to go back. He's got to go. We need he our can't top be. five. So. All right, so next we're going to do the Team Fantasy Girls top five. Where's Sean? Andy and Megan are back in the day one. So there's no. I didn't go in the shower, but it's in our Fantasy Girls Top 5 aggregate. 1.94. 1.94. Alright. I know, I will think I'm like catching a bit. I'm like more than y'all. I'm like 1.20. 1.20. And I wouldn't touch it. They're like. 1.16. 1 1.16. 1 .16. Just keep All right. We will do the math on that. Get back to you. Time me. Let's hear it for Team Fantasy Girls. All right, look, look at that, like baby. Wow. 3.50. 3.50. Right. What team is this? DCP. Oh, DCP, this is a 3.50. Nice job. Yeah. 
The Arcadian okay, place. The blue shirts. <laughs> Hey, Seth, is this where you're coming up around here? You're part of the team. <laughs> the, the boat pulled in. Josh is the other, Phil. Kristen, get a ticket. Wait up there. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, got it. Got it. Is that Cajun Place? Is that yes, name of the yes, team? Sir. Very good. One point zero eight. One point zero eight. Thank you, girl. Did you like you like it? Right time made a little upgrade. Do you want it? Do we have any other way in? There's a boat down there. What's the boat? Get their boat. Get their boat. Get their boat. They just got here. Real ladies, just came in. They just got here. Hey, hello. Coach, how are you? How you doing? Good. Do you like us? I love this. Real ladies sport fishing. I love yeah, it. Yeah, you need to have us on your on your show. I'm gonna put this on the show. Come on, girl. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right. We got Put it there. Are you gonna do an aggregate? <laughs> thing to call. There's a sand dollar so far. We got a little blue runner. Okay, blue fish. Okay. Fish. Okay. I have a category of a random fish. All right, so here we go. Everybody gets to cheer, okay? Can I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold them up first, and then we'll let everybody cheer. So we're gonna go with. That's not a fish. That's not a fish. So each boat's here for their own. I figured that out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're in the back. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! You're doing a root count. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> it's the same. Sand dollar. Sand dollar's not a fish. That's not a fish. We're gonna bleach it out and use it on the Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, but I, I think the rules are pretty lax in this group. Okay. BCP. Biggest fish team. BCP. There it is right there. Big fish. That is a big mackerel. Look at that. DCP at Cajun Place uh, Restaurant.
another boat coming in. Okay. Oh, All right. This is aggregate. How much is aggregate weight? <laughs> Get the whole team in here. Those are deckhands. <laughs> okay, now what? Congratulations. Now, what are you going to do with this money? We're going to donate it to a worthy cause. I don't know, Children's Home of some sort. Children's Advocacy Center. Congratulations. Very good. Okay, they get all set up. This is cute. Hey, 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 uglies, get on now. Hey. Hey, your deck can step out. Deck can step uglies, out. Uglies, go. Get out of here, uglies. Uglies, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, big fish, bring it on. Come on, get in there. Hurry up. Hey, step in. Get down, big fish. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Come on. Right there. Come on. Very good. Okay, Megan, Stephanie, and Mandy, what a successful tournament. Fantastic. I know y'all worked hard. Stephanie, you've been doing this how long now? I took it over in 2021. No. Uh, yes. About 20 plus years. Two years ago. But she was doing it. The tournament's been going for 20 something? 20, 20, this is 27. 27th 27 years. Yeah. Wow. And listen, y'all did good today. We did. We did. How'd y'all place? You got how many? We did not place. We didn't really have a lot of action, but the action we had was, was quality. I think so we had good. second place big fish and second place aggregate, but there's not second place. So what do I have a second place trophy? Second place first fish for bottom fishing this year. Right? <laughs> But we did get the t-shirt contest, and we never did. We did. We won the t-shirt contest. Yeah. We're reeling for all. Reeling in honors. We support our veterans. I love the shirt. Y'all get a new shirt every year, right? New shirt is every year. Well, on behalf of just the outdoor community, I want to thank y'all for just putting this on and keeping the ladies involved in it. And we just can't wait the next year. Can't wait. Good job. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. It's a beautiful day. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a lot of fun. Uh, you see those ladies had a great time, and, and that money goes to charity, the good causes and all. So I, I would encourage you to get a group of ladies together. Next year, you don't have to go out outside the pass. You can just fish right there in the bay and uh, challenge some of those teams out there. They had a grand time, and you get you some of those matching shirts. Of, uh, thank, uh, thank all of y'all for doing it. Uh, Megan and Stephanie and, and Mandy and a whole group of them that, that did it. So let's, uh, let's move on with our... Before we get our famous Friday fishing forecast, we need to draw for some seafood. So let's do that first. First things first. The winner of the $20 gift certificate from Tarpon Tar Tar Dock Seafood is going to be from Panama City, Matthew Shane Jacobs. And the winner of the Big Red Snapper is going to be all the way from Chipley, David Spence. Got a lot of, we got a lot of good viewers up there in Chipper. Don't hear a lot from them, but uh, I mean, as far as having sponsors all in that area, but we, we have a, we, I know uh, they called me and all and get some good text and everything. So anyway, let's do our, our famous Friday fishing forecast, always brought to us by Jessica Ling Insurance and Financial Group and Matt Andrews with Hammer Down Roofing. Some good folks at both those companies, Small Business America here locally. I, I put a fishing report together last night, you know, all this rain and wind and storms that we've been having, it affects not just the uh, rivers and the swamps and all, it affects surf fishing and, 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 and bay fishing and, and pond fishing, it affects everything. So uh, there's a couple things I wrote down. Uh, high water, of course, we've talked about it, we have plenty of high water in river systems, it's gonna be challenging, uh, salt water. Here's the thing about salt water, it, it churns up really bad, but then it starts settling down. And what happens though, those deeper holes, it settles faster in those holes. So I would recommend if you're going to surf fish this weekend, it's going to be a good weekend to surf fish, 
look, I'll walk up and, all, up and down the beach and have your glasses on and look for some holes. Those holes will clear up and that's where the fish, that's where the bait's gonna be. So, uh, but you can catch them in muddy water and all, so be aware of that. Uh, look at all the pictures we saw of the big catfish. So once the river starts going down, maybe next week or something, catfishing will be good. But right now, it's really too high. Uh, it's tough to catch catfish in this. Uh, this uh, go by the, I wrote down a wee wall wiggler bait and tackle. Go by and talk to those folks. They, they know what's going on. Those fishermen coming in and out of there every day. And they can help you out. They've got some great fresh bait, big wigglers and all, and, and uh, all kinds of good baits. So we wall wiggler bait and tackle. They're one of our sponsors, and they know a lot about it. Uh, also on the bait, redfish is going to start clearing up. Redfish has been it was good before the storm. The storm just knocked everybody out. But some of, the guys, some of those guys still went out that morning before the storm and uh, out today. The kayak fisherman is just not good kayaking right now, but it will be this weekend. I wrote down Pompano right at the, starting to be at the peak of Pompano season, so if you get a chance to go, go ahead and do it. The Spanish mackerel are still in, in our bay system and catch them off the pier. The very first ling, I had the picture, I didn't get a chance to show it to you, off the Navarre Pier was caught uh, Tuesday of this week. And it was like a 60 something pounder, but first pier. And the young man that caught it, he's been, this is his fourth time over the last 20 years catching the first one of the, and that's always a big deal now, these pier fishermen, to catch that first cobia off the pier. So, and the bar, uh, and I fished off that pier before, that's just a great fishing pier. So it's only a matter of time, they're going to catch one here off the uh, county pier or city pier. And speaking of pier fishing, it's going to be good. Going down to, uh, let's take a quick, real quick look down here. I've, I've been, uh, I haven't talked to the Carabelle folks, but I've seen some of their correspondents. Uh, the Carabelle River is now going to be coming out here pretty strong and muddy. All that uh, tannic acid from uh, flow from Tate's Hell is be coming here. But folks, I can tell you, over here in St. George Island, it's going to be some really good surf fishing off the state park. And again, uh, if I was going to fish down there, that bridge fishing, we all talk about it. I haven't talked about it lately. A little fishing bridge right here. Uh, a lot of folks are going to be catching, they're still catching some, uh, still catching some sheep's head and some drum off of the piers, off the off the piers and, and, the, and the bridges, really. So uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, let's see, the last thing I wrote about, well, it was, was bridge fishing, the last the last thing I talked about. So uh, there'll be a lot of, a lot of good opportunity to go. You want to try to use some fresh bait if you can. Uh, if I'm on, if I was going, I hope to go pompano fishing. I'm, I'm like I said before. I'm gonna use fish bites, either green, that lime green, or maybe some uh, some uh, orange. I, I, I mix it up and I try to experiment every time. So uh, you know, it's still the storm looked out of behind us. It's still gonna be windy. So go ahead and get out on the water if you can, or get up in the woods. You know, you know the woods is gonna be full of mud holes. I know some of y'all like to run your trucks through that, but as you get older, you do do less and less of that. So. We're going to wrap it up. It's been a great week. Monday show, we'll have Dr. Jeremy Sonseri coming on. He's been doing some bucket list outdoor things. He's going to share the outdoor things with us. He's going to tell us how to take care of our, our skin. Y'all have a great weekend. Do something good for your fellow man. Enjoy the outdoors. Take care of it. And God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.